The Jay and Juggy Show TV is a small group of guys that decided to pick up some cameras and begin filming their experiences. In just a few short years, still with no schooling or formal training in video production, the crew showed signs of serious effort with the show, even producing content that rivaled some of the best reality TV shows on network television today. Now with season two in play and budget worn thin, the crew attempts to create a series of videos that will hopefully get them noticed by the big guys and land them a place on the big screen. Until then, watch episode four, starting now. Bring it up, man, bring it up! It's not going home for us! Here we go. Me and Jay are leaving Mansfield as we speak to head to Avon to meet up with Angry Dude to go to Laconia Bike Week. Day two. Laconia Bike Week, where hundreds of thousands of motorcyclists flock to every year, is the home of Where's Beach, the place where the Federation was originally started back in 1916. You can now find Bike Week across the states and other popular hotspots, such as Myrtle Beach, Daytona, and Sturgis. The Jay and Juggy Show decided to hit New Hampshire at the last minute to film some of the scene and to enjoy a beautiful day in Laconia. These f guys have been up since 7, ready to go, out the door, big mission, big mission. Finally around 8.30 I get a phone call, and now 10 o'clock they show up. Day of Laconia, we're chilling, it's 9.30 in the morning, it's 9.57. And we finally made it to Avon, two hours late. Angry dudes are a little angrier. F***ing jerked. Yeah, you. Uh, Pete and I were up real late last night. We're all banged up from dialing these cameras for four in the morning. Vagina. But on the plus side, we're on our way to Laconia. Do we really need to? I mean, yeah, we really need to. It's the same about fucking plastic. Despite their two-hour delay, Jay, Pete, and Angry Dude set off to Laconia Bike Week anyway. Even though they had to hurry it up before the last hours of Bike Week were over, like any well-prepared team, they first had to stop at the border to grab some necessary provisions for the trip. Meanwhile, back in Massachusetts, Hacker Inc. heads off to a Freedom Rally. You see, the thing is, when you add Hacker Inc. to the equation, things tend to get a little interesting. Cruising on the red line, I get to Park Street. All of a sudden, thousands upon thousands of people just hanging about, you know, contributing to the local economy. And uh, all of a sudden, people start stomping and cheering and all kinds of shit just uh you know going with the flow i guess i don't know how to explain it After stopping at the food store, dropping off their gear at the house in Laconia, and chowing up some grub, the crew finally hit the back roads to catch up to speed with the locals. 
We had a little incident behind this motorcycle. You can actually see the raw fuel spewing from his tailpipe. So we get to Laconia, we're all pumped up. We get behind this bike driving down the main drag and we're stuck in traffic and this guy was just spewing fumes out, running too rich. What not to do on Laconia? Run your bike rich. All our eyes are burning. We got all the windows down in the car. It, it was brutal. And we had the misfortune of being stuck behind him for about three miles of traffic. And I think we were going to die from carbon monoxide poison. Well, four windows down, it's assholes. Just, you know, doesn't realize his bike's about to explode. We drive like a Canadian. This asshole on the left doesn't know how to jet his bike. The asshole on the right from Canada doesn't know how to ride his bike. I can't even see. Our eyes are watering because this guy's running so rich. And he's got eight hangers, which are gay. He's got nothing going for him. And his girl's ugly. Yeah. Of course, no day can go without like angry series, dude well, getting right mind angrier. Stop right there. Oh! He's getting close, I can tell. I got his chip my teeth. That's cool. Her head looks like some kind of an odd fucking beavery thing. That would aggravate me and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Let's go to the let's go to Home Depot on the bike. Why? We're gonna get some two bike on. <laughs> Why? To beat your stupid <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll swallow next time. It's like, dude, I don't wanna see you pain in the ass kids peddling cars. First of all, it's against child labor laws. Number two, it's not cute. Kids are only cute when they're your kids. Oh, you fucking useless. You. I'm talking about real shit. You're talking about the drug kids. Hey! You feel so much better. Oh shit. With a hidden agenda, where it's cool to be a member To take Christmas out of December, hey, it's just a fender bender As they dismember our military and horse morale Gathering like cattle at a corral, while praising they follow And teach the scholars from friends Hello? Hey, what's up, bro? Where the hell are you? You're late. I was picking up my suit at the cleaners. What do you mean, dude? What suit? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. How long until you get here? I don't know, I gotta take care of something first. Dude, drop whatever you're doing and get here. Season three's right around the corner, man. Alright, I'll be right there. What's up, all you pimps? What's up, all you hoes? I'm from Massachusetts. The Jersey Shore. Oh shit. Just entered a reduced salt area. With Angry Dude vented, they decided to drive as close as they could to Ware's Beach. Due to the payload of the camera gear that the team had to hike in on foot, parking was scarce. But the guys finally managed to find a spot and hit the ground running. We finally made it to Bike Week. I uh, had a little problem with the parking. Kind of shady parking going on, but hopefully we don't get tagged or towed. Just about to walk down the strip now and see what's going on. Stay tuned. So we get to Laconia, it's like 1, 1 30. For some reason, we got to the strip around 4 o'clock, don't ask us why. Pete is ready to fall asleep, go Betty bye, before we even start the filming. Episode 4, Season 2. Now, to some of you, this may seem like a shock. It is to me. But I can tell you right now, if we have to let Grandpa go to sleep, while well, me and Carl go take care of this. Then we will. With the ladies rocking and the bikes rumbling. The guys hit the bars, walked the strip, and saw some of the most beautiful looking bikes on the planet. As they got more entrenched in the local population, 
DJ Pete an Angry Dude, along with everyone else, got something they were not well, expecting. We're not seen here in Laconia, and uh, the weather's gone from beautiful All to of terrible. a sudden, Mother Nature right. unleashed her fury. Thunder and lightning. People were running for cover. Stuff was blowing around everywhere, and every bike you saw was getting drenched. Protecting the camera gear was paramount. Not that bad. As the boys were at the end making their rounds, they ran into some disturbing individuals that thought slapping a Hitler mustache on Obama is gonna do anything to change the new world order. So the team decided to entertain these clowns. Well, he violated the War Act by attacking Libya. He didn't confront the Congress. He didn't get the Congress approval. He had 90 days, it's over with. Yeah, Dennis Kucinich introduced the bill for impeachment based on that. I say we get rid of him though because he's not has done anything about the economy. You're not gonna fing impeach the president of the United States. Like, are you serious? Yeah, we're gonna do it by July 14th. I'll fing wait till then, okay? I'll see you then. We'll see what happens. Pass clown. What is this garbage you're watching? I wanna watch the news. Are you making are you making headways? This is the news. We won't stay here like the crucifix. I know what I have to do. 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 This prepare, prepare, prepare yourself. Are you ready to meet your maker? Based on the Warrior Dash website, the JNJuggyShow.tv, along with every other warrior, were promised barbed wire flames and rusty cars. Even though there was some of that, the team began to record a much different scenario. Running for like kind of, you couldn't really run because yeah. like it was, the mud was so it was like you know it was deep, so like you couldn't really run the whole time. So, uh, yeah. So it was like barbed wire. Yeah, it was like two miles of this mud thing, and then there were planks with the barbed wire that you went under and over, and then yeah. there were like weird balance beams, with like no supports, they were like wet and muddy, and they you had to go like over them. They had like hanging tires you had to kind of fight through. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a little, there were like a couple little fire things you had to jump over. So oh, the sure. final thing was like a huge wooden... Uh, like, it was almost like a freestanding wall, yeah. like it must have been uh, what, maybe 18 feet or something. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty good. and observe thousands upon thousands of people contributing to the economy. The second annual rally took place on a dock next to the USS Constitution. How'd that come out? What? what? You're filming me? All I can see is the back of your head. Really? Yeah. You're looking on the side. Like Alright, how's out. this? Is this better? What Hacker Inc. is trying to say is the Freedom Rally is held in Boston, Massachusetts every year. A festival that brings thousands of people together in celebration of freedom, harmony, and shitloads of pot. It's an angry dude. We're on the way to the Warrior Dash. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. We seem to have a problem with that. The last two videos are trying to get out to you. But it uh, shouldn't be a problem. We're all pumped up here. It's going to be sick. A lot of obstacles and... Hopefully some mayhem and carnage, maybe some uh, medical attention will be necessary for the contestants, which is always a plus. I find, uh, I find it funny, the downfall of others. <laughs> it amuses me. Anyways, I uh, just got off the exit, we should be there shortly. Man, dude. Oh, no. Oh. Trying to be gentle, man. It's gonna be worse if we try to leave. 
too. My car just got wrapped on the bottom. Fucking hot, dude. As the team patrolled the grounds more, they realized that they couldn't go on the course with their gear and disrupt the participants. So they knew there was only one other way to capture the footage they needed. on the course with the cameras, so we, we decided to climb up the mountain. Well, that wasn't a very good idea. We had to go through some crazy shit. On the way up, it was crazy. We're going through thorns. We had ticks. We had mud. We had fences. We had walls. Thick brush. Biting monkeys. We know how tough this trek is, right? So we're hustling. We're get about halfway up the hill here. We're trying to film the Warrior Dash, and it was friggin' brutal. This stuff makes Cambodia look like Disneyland. You lose it out here, here in a world of hurt. When we get to the top, who knows? We could get arrested. We could get kicked out. We could have to walk back to the car. We just don't know, but hopefully we'll be able to film it all. Let's do this, boys. We track further in there. We're not going to get footage. Everybody already has already run this part of the course. This is awesome. And all the f***ing bullshit we've done before. This is what made us. I understand that. You're just getting tired now. Not just you, man. I'm not getting tired. F*** I said we, asshole. We. Whatever. We just gotta keep trucking. You wanna walk out to the track where there's nobody there? No, I wanna walk out to the track where there's potential for people to be there. Because that's where people run, is on the track. Yeah, well, we can try it. We gotta go straight. So what is that? We'll come we'll across here and then you're not gonna go too much further? Dude. Sorry guys, that's how we gotta do it. Right, we gotta at least make the effort. That's what made us. So we're a little more than halfway up, and I'm telling you, we started arguing. Pete was getting mad at me, I was getting mad at him, he was getting mad at Carter. It was just getting crazy. And Carter just jacked himself. That's why we need interns. Pack mules, this is what you're gonna get into. This is why we make shit happen here. Their website makes this place look like the Shangri-La of cool shit. It turns out it's 50 bucks to go run through a puddle, which we could have done at f***ing home. But in order to save the trip, we're going to pursue through this shit to bring it to you. This is the f***ing warrior challenge. If you want to run through a kiddie pool, you do that in your backyard, dude. This is the warrior f***ing challenge. That's some shit that we got ourselves into. I told you, we get to the top of the mountain, that's the end. No, it's not just that. We're gonna have to mission accomplished. It was great. We got to the top. We did what we had to do. Uh, you know, we got people on the obstacles. We got people on the track. We got just about everything we need to get done. As tough as that effort was, we did what we had to do. We pulled through. We did it as a team. Uh, I'm proud of the guys, and uh, this is the very thing that makes us who we are. And, and I hope uh, with the new season coming up in a couple of months, I think it's gonna be a great thing. Jay loves to bust our balls, but he, he likes to get stuff done. When he does that, you know, it gives us a little bit of motivation. We bust his too. There's a lot of ball busting going on back and forth, and uh, but we have fun and we get the job done always. And that's what it takes. All of that, but just that little bit. So you know, that's what we go through every time we do something. Nobody has that truck. Nobody. You know why? They didn't go through that. To get to you. Good job, boy. Come here, bro. Jeez, kid. There's a camera right? shot for you. <laughs> I got it. It's on there. Hey, what kind of tree is that? Oh, well, that that's a Virgin. Virginia tree topsis. It's full of rotten wood and ants. So hot out so we're like we're gonna take a dip in the lake. I jump in the lake and when I was swimming back up I kicked a rock and gashed my toe open and it was bleeding everywhere. These guys wanted to film it. I really wasn't down with that. It was too tight for him. It was too tight. Ha ha ha! Sat on my cigarettes. Look at the cough dude. 
Now this guy in the truck probably like, oh, there's another company. Oh. Well, what is he doing? Why is he just, why isn't he working? He's making three hundred dollars to do it. Do you think they like my mustache? No, 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 no. You think all that was crazy? You haven't seen shit yet. If you think that was all crazy. If you think this season's been crazy so far, you haven't seen shit yet. We're not gonna use any of this. The team may have bitten off more than they can chew with their next episode, which takes place in Hakamak Swamp. A haunted and mystical place. Fighting 17 degree temperatures, low supplies, and with the loss of a team member. It's a season finale that will shock you all.